Hey guys, today I wanted to make a short video on how to make a left turn in Taiwan if you're on a motorbike. It's actually a road rule here in the country and it caught me off guard the first time I saw it. I haven't really been to any other country that used this and didn't really find any videos on YouTube about it. So I figured I'd share it with the community to make traveling around Taiwan a little easier. It's basically a two-part hook turn system and cars are exempt from this. It's designed to bring more safety to the roads and reduce collisions, I believe. Most motorbikes ride in the right lane, so I'll quickly demonstrate. Say I want to drive here, but I don't want to make a left here. So I, you know, look around, the little sign is right up there. It's really small, so you have to kind of squint for it. And then you basically just have to navigate right over there. There's the little uh, <laughs> the box that I have to go in. As soon as the light turns green, you go. I go, and I literally make a right, and I go over here, and I find my box. Hello box, and I just hang out here. And then you have to wait for a second light to turn green in the intersecting road and continue straight to complete the left turn. Yeah, it's a little time consuming to have to wait through two red lights. So again, whenever you see this blue circular sign, just find the box in the intersecting roads and wait inside up until the light turns green. And then there are times where there's no blue sign at all and you're free to make a left turn like normal. Obviously, keep an eye on oncoming traffic and make the turn when it's safe. It's not too common, but there are intersections that don't involve the two-part system. There are also instances where there isn't a complete intersection, but you still have to find the box and wait. Overall, Taiwan is a beautiful country to explore on a motorbike, and all the other traffic laws are pretty straightforward. I read that there are talks to abolish this rule in the future, but I'm not sure. What do you think? Should it stay or should it be removed? Comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear other people's opinions. Safe travels.